What have you guys been up to down here? <clears throat> if anything, you guys just been sort of mulling things over. That's also fair game. Um, I think I was just going to go and talk to Sajar. Uh, he is there. Uh, yeah. Maybe looking wistfully at Isadora, but there. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> Hey, Sajar. Um, are you free? No. Oh, yeah. Deed. Hi. Yes. I'm sorry, a little distracted. Something on your mind? Um, actually, there is. And um, I remember you saying that if I had any concerns i can come and talk to you absolutely boy i don't know where to start i'm is i'm pretty sure you brother? this is going yes um parts of it <laughs> I just, um, I need some advice, really. And, okay. um, do you know much about Sentag? Like, uh, not a whole lot. I know that there is tension, to say the least, between the Elven population and the uh, more, I suppose, provincial aspects of the populace. I, I hear conflict is common. That's about yes. an extent of my knowledge. Um, there is a lot of um, conflict between um, two races. Uh, the Elven population isn't, um, treated. Oh. <laughs> isn't... <attacked. laughs> no, that was an accident. You die. <laughs> uh, the Elven population isn't, um, treated. Uh, so kindly there, and you, some may say, you could uh, think of it as a type of forced labor, um, slavery. Dreadful business, that. Yes, um, it's not that great. I, I think it's not fair for me to go f too much into my backstory without telling the group um but as you know my brother he was behind my kidnapping and he ambush on our group and I feel really really guilty about that I kind of brought you guys into my business mm. well deep okay listen it's not very healthy for you to blame yourself for that it's not like anyone forced us to stick together after what happened, we chose to. And you didn't do anything. Your brother did. The the guilty conscience, it should not be yours. It should be his. But I did do something. To my brother. To my family. I betrayed them. I, um... I thought I knew what I was doing. I thought 
I was doing it for the greater good. But because of me, our family's dead. My mom and my dad. And recently, I thought it was my brother too, but I was wrong. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. It is, um, I don't even know how to imagine that. When you say it's your fault, what do you mean? I I found out that my dad was part of an, a rebellion. Back then, I thought it it wouldn't be good for our family to be a part of that movement. I thought so much of, of my noble. I wanted to become someone who was worthy to him. And when I found out that my dad was a part of that rebel movement, that he was fighting against Noble, I well confided in him. I told. I didn't think he would harm harm them. But when I came back home, they were gone. There was blood everywhere. I'm terribly sorry to hear that, Deet. I, uh... That's very... that's... that's brutal. It's all but... my fault. Uh, I understand why you feel like that. I understand why you think it is. But I would perhaps not be so quick to judge until you have all of the facts regarding that incident. Do you know every detail? Do you know for a fact that it was this noble person you speak of? And not your brother? All I know is that if I didn't tell on them, they would have been alive. That might yeah. be true. The possibility also exists that they would have found out regardless of whether you told them or not. And maybe the fact that you said something is the reason you're still alive. But my brother, um, yes. I don't understand how, he, how he exactly. I have so many questions. <sighs> there are a few things in this world that are as heavy as grief, especially if you feel guilt as well. Um, Maybe, maybe what you say is exactly the way you say it. That could be. And if it is, then that is something you will have to figure out how to live with. If it isn't, then you have a right to know the truth, I think. Even if you are guilty as, as guilty as you feel, you at the very least have the right to find out the full extent of what happened. And if that is something that you want to pursue and find out, 
then I think we should all assist you in that. And thank you for telling me this. I know this can't be easy. Thank you for listening. It's really hard for me to open up. And I really appreciate the offer. There is the fact that my brother mentioned something that's happening in Sinside. And I, I really need to find some answers. I understand. Do you think the group would hate me? No, I don't think so. I think that they, the same as I, at least that's my hope, would see the fact that you have never betrayed us. You have never, at least to my knowledge. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I had to laugh. <laughs> You've been a true ally and companion to us, Deet, and that's still as true as it was yesterday, as far as I'm concerned. You've proven yourself multiple times, so I personally don't think they will. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Mr. John. Anytime. This um also one more thing about what happened today. Yes. I know I've um haven't mentioned it. It has been on my mind about what happened with Saul and Vasa. Um Right, the Drip situation, I think you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, I found out that he's been taking some drugs. Uh, I, I took it away from him, um, with, uh, thanks to his father, he helped. I, I'm just worried. Do you know, why. does he have a, did he say that he have a reason or is it just, is it a habit he does for sport or do you know the context? He won't go much into detail really, um. He just said that he needs it to go to the next level, and that's all he gave. Next level, does he mean his spirit bear thing? I thought that, but in the way Vaso uh. was... Concerned, um, it made me a little confused. If he is doing this now as opposed to before, do you know if it's because he was able to get some now and he hasn't been up until now? Do you know if he's had some and taking it sneaky? You know, it hasn't really crossed my mind whether he's got some secret stash. Right. And this was this after your kidnapping? 
And this was after, yeah. Okay, I think I understand. Do you think... If he... Oh, sorry, go on. Do you think this has something to do with kidnapping? I know that he has affection for you. I also know the kind of man he is. Uh, there are many like him back home. Not that they follow spirit bears into the twins or anything like that, but... Feeling helpless or feeling inadequate, especially when it puts people you care about in danger, yeah. is frustrating. It's soul crushing. It that feeling of helplessness. It's pure despair. It's not a good place to be. And if he thinks that taking drugs can get him to the next level, whatever that means. Then he probably might be using whatever it is he's using as a means of filling that void in his emotions rather than confronting them. Yeah. I... I think he needs to feel competent and confident in his in, in his ability to protect you. So he's desperate. If we can help him find a means of reaching that level without the drugs, then that might give him a tool with which to fight his addiction. A, a drug problem like that is not something you overcome easily or in a day. It's going to take work. And if you care about him in the same way he does for you, then you have to ask yourself a very serious question. Are you willing to put in the work to help him, even knowing that it might be a futile endeavor? Of course. I, I know... Um... I, I know that I do have some feelings towards all. And I, I really don't want to see him suffer. Okay. If that's the case, be honest with him. Tell him how you feel. Tell him what you are afraid of. And tell him that... You want him to be the best version of himself that he can be. And if he wants to reach that next level of strength and power, that you will help him do that. But without the drugs, you will find a way. We, all of us, will find a way. But it has to come from you, because I think you are the only one he'll actually listen to in this context. Yeah. <laughs> so much more. I feel a little bit more free. <laughs> a little. A little Thank you so a little much. Lighter. Yeah. yeah. Glad to hear that. Thank you for listening, Star. And thank you for sharing with me. I, I appreciate it. Guys, just chilling down there. Does Salas do anything during all this, or? That's all I'm wondering. No, I'm not really. <clears throat> much to do. So I'll just kind of sit around. All right. I guess after a while, uh, Alessander, basically, kind of, I guess, dragging Oriana <laughs> there with him. <laughs> Uh, we'll kick the door and say, "What's up, fuckers?" No, uh, <laughs> uh, shoot them all dead. Starting with Mika. <laughs> <you can't laughs> okay. Um, 
I don't know that. I'm schizophrenic. Huh? Go. <laughs> I'm, I'm schizophrenic and have a gun. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think I'll they'll, they'll turn there. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> you're all good. Don't worry about it, man. And the uh, waves jar over. Hold on. <laughs> Activating That's... vision. Whee! All right. I forgot where I'm on the map. There, you should be able to I can see. I can see. Oh, I can oh. fight. <laughs> Walks up and uh, shoots his door. That's from uh, Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah. You what, mate? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's when they go oh, to the medieval what? episode. Or not medieval, but. Yeah. How come. So I dragged my own out just so I. Something up with they that. had the health bar, but now can you give this vision? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. This Why does. For some reason, when you give it vision, it, it loses itself. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm not doing combat on here. Wow. Well, oh, wait, no. That's right. Here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 it's a chain gang. Just give Alessandra control of Oriana for a little while. <laughs> give, her, give him control of the token. No. So, Oriana and Alessandra come back, uh, handcuffed together. Manacle together, which is even worse than a handcuff. Well, I, I didn't. He he put the man manacles away for the time being, but you know what? Yeah, screw it. They're handcuffed together now. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. His his left hand his left hand to her right. Yeah, How's we... everything down here? Welcome back. That's interesting. There's a lot to say. It's just a lot. <laughs> Uh, well, we're not discussing how Orion needs a hand. He lifts his hand up, and I guess her hand up by you know, association. I'm handling her. <laughs> that is going to be very impractical in the fight. Indeed. True. Ideally, we won't have this on in the fight, but for the time being, I need to prove, we, Sajar, need to prove that we are fitting candidates for the Lord Seeker. I actually think about right. being handcuffed to you is only an advantage to me. You're entirely ranged, and I'm entirely melee. Hmm. Oh, trust me, it's very hard for me to miss at this distance. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Sorry, <continue. laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay. And... The, uh... Hitchhiker in your brain, Oriana? That situation is... Is what? That sorted? It's... It's a neutral ground. No, it isn't sorted. <laughs> right. It's not sorted the way we were discussing previously. Scavola gave her an ultimatum and she accepted it. She will assist Scavola, whatever way Scavola deems fit, and as a result, Scavola will not take her over. But should Oriana go against that, she's fair game. And then it will be up to myself or you, Sajar, to reel her in. There's also situations Unless... where if she deems that I'm throwing my life away, she... Well, at least give a warning. How considerate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's better than surprise. Alright, so we can trust good. her as far as we can predict her motive. That's reassuring. More solidifying the rules of engagements. Right. So, say for example that mm. you do whatever, and Skivol is unhappy and decides to take you over. Where, what what's my role in that? Do I bombard you with magic again? Might be a good call. Honestly, I can't do much against magic. If you have some way to prevent me from moving, that might be a better call. Slow me down. That's more Silas's department. Uh. It's purely a situation of prevent Skovola from doing something. I'm not picky on how you approach that. Right. Well, okay. I'm picky in one regards. I don't want to die. Preferably not Aww. death. 
<laughs> Don't aw. Nope. I, I, I was gonna say, Ruan, if I go full cannon on you, I might not be able to hold back. Are you sure you're okay with that? It's something I have to accept. Whether I'm okay with it is regardless. Okay. Well, I guess uh, we'll have to sort out sleeping arrangements. Um, Alexander, sleep in shifts? I'm agreeable to that. Are I going to have to find a new roommate? Do you require one? Tell us shrugs. I will leave that up to your own discretion. Where is Kasai? That is a very good question. I mean, there's Darth Crazy. Crawl over there. Amber made her leave. Where did we last see her? She was here with you guys, and when <laughs> when you guys left, she did just sort of leave with you, but she didn't go with you. Right. Ah, okay. So last we saw was us basically going to the Lord Seeker and her going somewhere else. Mm. Yes. Okay. If you look at the well, map, you can see half her token. <laughs> Yeah, you see, you see, you see this Kasai that isn't actually your show. <laughs> oh, She's over there. She's just <laughs> I ain't deleting the token. All right, it's a pain in the ass to set it. Run, get her. <laughs> Did we know uh, that was happening, or is this like kind of like a post mortem kind of thing? Hopefully not post mortem. No. <laughs> Wrong terminology. You know what I mean? Like after the fact, I'm just like, oh, this is what happened. Yeah, that's right. Well, I suppose I shall go look. We shall go look for her. Uh, order of hey, operations. You mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, nothing. It was oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, musing out loud, he just kind of says, uh, "Order of operations. We find Kasai. I will go check on uh, my order, and then back to the commons. And then we'll back to the cradle. See if De oh no, Delvet's being brought here, isn't he? Yeah. And yeah. Rickard, I believe, said he will." basically send for you right but then Rickard should uh, send for me and do, oh Alexander correct me if I'm wrong here but don't you still have a date with the Lordess I saw to that last night a quick stop by her um, uh, oh god estate mid <coughs> investigation okay good well yeah, should thank we, you sir uh, is a heavy word. As you say that, <laughs> as you say that, you hear Lord Soiron chuckle aloud behind you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very cool thing to hear. He jumped out of the ceiling, that. clings to it like a cat. <laughs> I actually, I actually don't have a token for this. I actually don't have a token for it, unfortunately. Uh, but I do have a token for uh, this is the actual Lord Slayer. Uh, Lord. Hey, that's who that lad is. Elaine. Oh, Lord Slayer, okay. Yeah, this is Lord Secret. There's gonna be one. Yeah, she'd be over there. More like <laughs> Lord Player. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Look at this drip. She, Look at this she, mane. she gets. I have art for her. I just never made a token for her. Uh, she gets <laughs> this circle. <laughs> What a circle! Oh god, the curves! On she her. has it a lot of stop. <laughs> yeah, I hate you. She's all curved. <laughs> she curves for days. <laughs> it's, it's never ending. If you think about it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Lordess Swaron is there, and she just has a sort of chiding, but like full offended look uh, on her face. I uh, hope we're not interrupting anything. Not at all. To what do we owe the pleasure? I'm not gonna move a bunch of tokens around, so uh, they exist. N Theater of the mind node, go activate. Um, <laughs> they walk on over. 
The Lord Slayer stands at about six foot six. Jesus Christmas. With armor, so it might be, you know, an inch or two shorter without it. My guy. My man. He's wearing them plated heels. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Heels are good for uh, riding. That's true. There's no mention. He walks over. Yes, he does have his weapons with him, but that shouldn't be too surprising to hear for a slayer. Like, motherfuckers stay strapped. Of course. I don't believe we had the proper introductions. This voice sounds familiar to some of you, and you can't pin why. Squints. You can roll your history to see if you, you get it. I will. Because two, two of us do know. If you were in the music shop, you can roll history. Oh, okay, never mind. Bop. You're in the music uh, shop. Yeah, no, you're in the Bop. Oh my you god, were? Mariana, you piece of shit. I was not. Nice. Oh! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The bard, of course the bard knows. Yeah, I think that fits. <laughs> Damn it. Nope. Alright, so it's only Alessander and Silas then. <laughs> Squints unknowingly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you guys re remember the voice. Uh, and it makes sense that it's